I think it goes way back years when I was a child. I was always in streams and discovering what is happening there, what's growing there, and I was playing in, in rivers and creeks a lot. And um, somehow moving into a city, I lost that connection. But I just love the complexity. It's such a community like humans. Everyone has a role. Everyone has a different function in the street. That's what always fascinated me. Biodiversity is really important. It creates the air we breathe. It helps purify the water we drink, the rivers we swim in. It brings in recreational activities from all over the world. People come to New Zealand to see our beautiful scenery, to go bird watching, to go sightseeing with whales and dolphins. Because you've got so many species specialising, some of them are so highly specialised that they only occur uh, in very limited areas. And this is the case for New Zealand, where we've got a very high um, amount of endemism, which means that there are a lot of species that only occur in New Zealand and nowhere else in the world. That makes it a, a, a treasure to, to have here, but it also means that we have the responsibility to look after those species, because if, if any one of those species get lost, then they will be lost from the world. Most of our ecosystems in Hawke's Bay, particularly in the lowland areas, are either acutely or chronically threatened. We have very little left in Hawke's Bay. It's vital that we protect these last remnants. Hawke's Bay Regional Council works with private landowners and community groups in identifying these areas, putting up fences, also alongside that, helping landowners manage predators and possums. So New Zealand's already lost nearly half of its native bird species. They've gone extinct since humans arrived. 80% of what remains here now is in trouble and of which about a third are heading towards extinction. So that's just our birds. When you think of many other species like our invertebrates, mycorrhiza in the soil, reptiles, um, those things are also silently disappearing. Uh, so we fenced this area off about 15 years ago and this is the result. And as you can see, once you remove the stock and fence an area off, you get a lot of native species coming back. Uh, so this area uh, used to be just kanuka, and under here was all grazed, it was grass. And there's obviously very little grass left now. Um, it's just native species, which is really choice. The reason I did it is, is uh, it can return to uh, what it should be. It's just really nice being out and seeing native species when you, you're working on the farm. What's left on, in the, primarily in farmland is actually really, really valuable. You might just see a few trees, but actually in those trees there can be reptiles and invertebrates just hanging on. So if you can fence those areas out and protect them, uh, that's where we can have real biodiversity gains. So one big point that Hawke's Bay Regional Council does is looking what the status of the environment. Where is it okay? Where do we have you know, a healthy system? But also where are problems and where do they come from? And trying to track that and get suggestions into how to manage it and get it to a better state. They are very interconnected. So we've got the water, but that depends on what is happening on the land and that influences the water. The water carries all the way down to the coast. This is where we have our coastal habitats. And that all comes from the land and the climate also plays a role. So we have to work together quite a bit to get the idea of what's the best, best way we can manage for a healthy um, environment. Their aim is um, to increase native trees and then give habitat to insect species and birds, and you can hear the birds around. There's a lot of life around us. The second aim is also to um, keep the river system healthy and to minimize the impact from outside um, and give it um, a better ecosystem health, the stream itself. It's a private person. You can change a lot by planting along streams because then, first of all, you're doing something for terrestrial biodiversity just by planting the plants. That's already the first big gain. 
what you can see. And then you're also providing for the stream itself, providing more habitat, shade, shelter, microclimate. There are so many flow on effects. So you have a huge impact by doing just that. Ecosystems are pretty amazing, not just for retaining biodiversity, native species that we think are important to us. They also help hold hillsides together, preventing erosion. They help absorb rainfall, reducing that major flow in rain events, minimising floods. Ecosystems also help with soil health. It's how our topsoil was created, leaves and leaf litter falling to the ground. So it's a really vital service that they provide in creating the beautiful soils that Hawke's Bay has. So that's why protecting remaining remnants are so important. Farmers can't do it alone either. Uh, it's we need support from the urban community and that can be through community groups um, and volunteers to come out and help because it is a huge job and it's ongoing, it doesn't stop. Come talk to the council, that's a great way of uh, having a really good impact on biodiversity.